the Rough Stuff Specialties website pulled up. It's really mobile friendly. It's kind of nice. I end up ordering a lot of my parts while I'm in the garage so I can get measurements and kind of see what I'm doing. So heavy duty anti-wrap traction bar complete kit that I ordered. It's got price, uh, the full kit, and then if you bought the components separately from them, so it kind of shows you the price savings. A couple options you got to pick from for lower tube length, three, four, or five feet, or leave the tubing out of the kit, and then upper tube, three or four feet, or again, leave the tubing out. So I went ahead with five feet of lower tubing and four feet of upper just to make sure I had enough. Got a really good description of the kit. Everything that's included in it. Ordered this last week. Just got here, so let's get in the garage and get started on the install. Hey everybody, what's up? All right, I want to show you a little bit of a uh, Rough Stuff product that we're going to be installing. This is the uh, anti-wrap traction bar axle side bracket. So right now, it, uh, out of the box, it comes for a three inch diameter axle tube but uh, the F-250 here has got a three and a half. So easy way to fix it. Find yourself an old cutoff wheel disc, the diameter of your axle housing. This one's three and a half. Lay it on there, trace it out. And then once you ground it, there you go. So I'm gonna do that to the other one and then we'll get them mocked up on the truck. This is the uh, frame side mount for the Rough Stuff anti-wrap bar. Piece of DOM for bushing sleeve and then these uh, quarter inch plates cut out. They cope it for you in case you want to put it on a tube cross member. But since I'm gonna put it on this truck on the frame rail up here, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the material off so I can put it flush up there. mentioned the uh, frame rail is a little bit the way they form it into its C channel it's a little bit taller on one side than the other so I'm gonna cut them at staggered heights that way when I put them on it should uh, keep the bushing square
So what we got here is got the lower two inch 250 wall, the main tube of the anti-wrap bar. So it's just sitting on this bolt. That helped me just kind of hold it up, get it centered under the, the hanger. And I went ahead and just did a simple chop saw notch on that end, put it up against the bushing and just tacked it into place. So now I'll get the top one, one and three quarter 250 wall, get it to land somewhere in here. And then once I start cycling the suspension, I'll figure out total length, chop it off and put that in on. But got to run it wild because the axle moves back as it goes to bump. That's all the way at bump right now. So I want to set that shackle angle at 90 degrees of vertical at right height, not at bump. Got the top bar tacked in place, same thing. Little chop saw notch there. And then just cleaned up and tacked right there. I'm not gonna weld the mount on until I get the end length and angle and everything figured out because it might move around a little bit. 